June's Rewa.com data shows the strongest month for sales in Perth since 2015, with transactions increasing 55% compared to last month and 45% higher than the same period last year. Rewa President Damien Collins says it's clear the recent federal and state government building bonus grants have boosted transactions last month. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So Rewa.com data shows there were almost 4,000 sales transactions in June with over 2,500 of these dwellings, which is up 15% and almost 1,500 land sales, which is almost three times the number of land sales last month. That comes from Mr. Collins. The largest spike that we have seen in land transactions can be attributed to people fearing that they may miss out on these grants. There is a real possibility that we will run out of titled and completed blocks in the coming months. The top suburbs to see increases in transactions were Williton, Thornley, Girraween, Dudley Park and High Wycom. Reba.com data also revealed the median house price remained unchanged for June, which is sitting at $475,000. However, the median land sale price increased 5% compared to this time last year and is now sitting at $250,000. With listings for sale down 9% and sales activity increasing, it is fast becoming a seller's market. While monthly changes in prices can be volatile, rising sales and dropping stock levels are usually a precursor to rising prices, Mr Collins said. During the initial COVID-19 period, there was some downside price risk to Perth property prices. However, it now appears that Perth prices will generally hold firm and could even possibly rise. This is of course dependent on the economy opening up and remaining open. Listing stock in Perth's rental market continued to plummet in June, declining a further 15% to under 4,000. This reduction in listings means we can expect a vacancy rate to drop further from the current 2.2%. In saying that, there are many agents on the ground who are reporting their vacancy rate for their agencies sitting as low as 1%. According to Reba.com data, the suburbs that have seen the largest increase in leasing activity growth include Cloverdale, Rockingham, Mount Lawley, Beckenham and Subiaco. Perth's overall median rent price remained at $350 per week in June 2020. While the ban on increasing rents is in place for established tenancies during the COVID-19 emergency period, agents are reporting some evidence of rising rents on newly leased property. Once we emerge from the emergency period, we may see rental prices rise, Mr Collins said. Well guys, that's it from me today. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot guys, bye for now.